All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're going to be doing the best decks in the standard format as of April 2017. And honestly, nothing really changed too much since, um, since March, but you know what? Still some decent decks popped up, so uh, let's quickly go over them. Quick recap, we're not going to be showing you the deck list, or else this video will be like two hours long. Starting things off with the Mega Ray list. Mega Ray is continuing to be a very powerful deck. The fact that Mega Ray can hit so hard and basically one-shot everything in the format thanks to Professor Kikui makes it a very threatening card. It's been performing pretty decently. Um, most Mega Ray variants are just using Manaphy. Um, some are using Volcanion with Steam Up. And even some now I'm seeing are using like Giratina. So Mega Ray is continuing to do good. I still want to know how that uh, Mega Ray list lost to the Line Croc deck. Um, but anyways, we go on here, Tauros. Tauros is continuing to see play with, like, Eveltal EX, and also in Decidueye, and even Tauros, Garbodor, Giratina is also still doing pretty decently for Garbodor and Tauros in Standard. Tauros is still a threatening GX Pokemon. It's a very scary card to play against because it kind of just walls you, and it's, like, kind of scary to attack into it because you don't want to walk into Mad Bull. Gumshoes is seeing some play, mainly Gumshoes for the ability Search the Premises is seeing play with Houndoom, EX, Mildex, because you can just look at their hand and then you can decide if you want to do something like a Team Skull Run, you want to end them, you can poke a puff them, there's so many options with Gumshoes and Houndoom Mill, it's just making Houndoom Mill a lot more funner now, and uh, Gumshoes, Houndoom Mill is still doing good, other than that, Gumshoes isn't really seeing too much play outside of that, uh, Darkrai, we already know Darkrai is still performing very well. I mean, let's be real here. Turbo Dark, Darkrai Giratina, Darkrai Dragons. It's just doing way too good for Darkrai. I mean, Darkrai right now is just really just on top of the format. Um, and in all honesty, with the new Darkrai GX coming out in Sun and Moon 3, that I mean, this Darkrai is just not going to end. It, it's just it's an overwhelming amount of darkness on the format, and Darkrai just it is just way too good. It is just by far one of the best decks in the format right now. Umbreon decks are doing good, you know, mainly Umbreon Evolutions, a lot use, like, hammers, so they can, like, use, like, Dark Call with, like, the hammers and stuff, Umbreon Evolutions doing good, Umbreon, Espeon, also doing pretty good, so, I mean, Umbreon GX is holding up for what it is, I mean, I don't really think it's a great card, like, it's, like, amazing format defining meta card like dark or something but this card is still pretty decent and you know some people are still giving umbreon gx the chance it needs espeon gx probably the most popular of the uh umbreon espeon kind of you know debate oh which one's better espeon clearly the better choice right now wabafet espeon is a deck that's doing good right now and also there is Espeon Decidueye, which is also performing pretty well so espeon gx just does not seem to want to stop being on a roll recently um, and then you got the Eveltal decks. Eveltal, Garbodor, Tauros is another good deck. And then you also got Eveltal with, like, Wobbuffet. I think Quad Eveltal, whatever it's called, is also performing pretty good for Eveltal right now. I mean, Eveltal is just a really good card. Evil Ball is a very powerful attack. It kind of just smokes Lugia and Mewtwo and Tapu Lele out of the water. So Eveltal, it's still doing pretty good for a dark type. I think Dark is definitely the better dark right now in the format, but Eveltal is still doing pretty good. Same with Giratina. Giratina, mainly Giratina with Tauros and uh, Giratina with Dark Ride just seem to be the best ways to play Giratina right now. Not really anything else using Giratina. So yeah, the Giratina, Garbodor, Tauros decks are doing good. I mean, yeah, okay, you got Giratina and Mega Ray too, I guess. I mean, I've seen Giratina and Mega Ray, so... Giratina is still holding up for what it's worth. Uh, Rainbow Road is another deck. It's not like winning any tournaments or anything, but people still like using Rainbow Road um, just because it's a very fun deck. It's a very powerful deck because Xerneas is a non-EX attacker, which means your opponent would have to knock this thing out six times to actually win the game, which is very threatening when this is going to one-shot you most of the time. So people are still liking the Xerneas Rainbow Road decks. It's not performing amazing. It's not winning any tournaments, but it definitely is still putting in work. And, um, Pissimian is also, you know, a good budget deck right now. It's probably the best budget deck right now. Oh, um, actually, no, it's not. Um, no, there's definitely another better budget deck right now. But Pissimian, people are still liking the Pissimian. Mainly what makes Pissimian good is the Pissimian Mew variants hit for two weaknesses that are very crucial. Pissimian hitting for fighting weakness means that it's going to one-shot Darkrai, which is very, very important. And using Mew with Pissimian means you can hit Mew 2Y and Espeon GX is for weakness, which is also very important. So, Pissimian... People are still liking this. It's, again, it's not like breaking the format, winning any tournaments. But what is winning a tournament is Darkrai, or not Darkrai, what the heck am I saying? <laughs> Line Karak GX decks. Um, I'm thinking this one in the juniors division when I did my Salt Lake recap. 
or not, was it Salt Lake? I can't even remember. It was, it was a recap I did a few weeks ago. Line Croc ended up winning in, I think, the Juniors division. It beat out a Mega Rayquaza deck, which is kind of weird. I don't really know how that works, but I guess it just does work. So, Line Croc, people are liking this card quite a bit. Line Croc Evolutions, Line Croc Garbink, Garbink is kind of the way people are using the Line Croc right now. It's a pretty cool card. Um, I might honestly think it's better than the other Line Croc Jets we're going to be getting in Guardians Rising. Uh, this just seems to be the best choice for Line Croc. Uh, Zygarde is still kind of doing okay. It's, again, not winning tournaments, but people still like using the fighting type decks just because being able to hit weakness on stuff like Darkrai, it's just way too good to pass up. Um, now, Zygarde carving Regirock, I guess, is like the best uh, Zygarde deck right now. It's still a good deck. It's still a decent rogue deck to go into like a tournament with because you never know. It has a lot going for it. The only downfall is its weakness to grass. Um, Houndoom Mill, again, going back with Gumshoes. I mean, Houndoom Mill, it's probably the best mill deck right now in standard. Standard, better than the Weezings and stuff like that. Houndoom, just, it's mill and everything. It's not winning tournaments, but people still like using their mill decks. Vespaquin is doing okay. It's not like it used to with, like, the Vespaquin to strike a decks that were doing really good. Um, but it's still performing pretty decently. I think what's really holding it back is the Sidui GX, just because they have such a low HP. Combi's only at 40 HP and uh, stuff like that, but Vespa Quinn is still a pretty powerful deck right now. It's still putting in work, it's still going strong, people are finding different ways to use their Vespa Quins. Uh, Lorantis variants, mainly Lorantis Vileplume and Lorantis Sogaleo are the top two Lorantis decks right now. Definitely Lorantis Sogaleo seems to be the best way to run Lorantis right now in terms of performance. Lorantis Vileplume is cool and all, but it just seems like Lorantis Sogaleo is the best way. Vileplume variants, like Vileplume it's too powerful, man. Force Giant Plants is just too good for this. I mean, yeah, you got Vileplume Decidueye, Vileplume Lorantis, other Vileplume variants that people like with Vileplume Box and, you know, Vileplume with Zygarde or other, just other decks. But yeah, Vileplume, it's continuing to be the most annoying card in the world. People hate this card. Confirmed best ladder grinding deck ever in the format. Decidueye is probably still the top deck right now. Uh, there's so many ways people are running their Decidueye. Like, it's not just Decidueye Lugia Tauros anymore. It's like now, like, Decidueye with, like, different evolutions and stuff, which we'll talk about in a minute. Speaking of Decidueye, Yamega, and it's weird to see Yamega on here, but I think a Yamega Decidueye deck actually performed pretty good just before the end of April, so I guess we can actually count this as another Decidueye variant. Um, and then another Decidueye variant is like the Decidueye Jolteon with um, Glaceon and Espeon, or just Jolteon and Espeon. Decidueye decks are doing very good too. Um, some people think that might be the best way to run Decidueye right now is with like Jolteon and Espeon, G uh, EX, um, Sogaleo, once again, still doing its thing. Uh, Sogaleo's best partner right now just seems to be Lorantis. I mean, Sogaleo's still good, right? It's still got some good ways to run it. You can do it with uh, Darkrai. You can do it with, like, you know, things that could use a lot of energy, like Lugia and whatnot. Um, but it just seems right now Sogaleo with uh, Lorantis seems to be Sogaleo's best partner. I think Sun and Moon 2 might change that. Guardians Rising, you never know. Uh, and then, obviously, you got your Guardi variants. Guardi is one of my favorite decks right now in Standard. Brilliant Arrow is a great attack. Brilliant Arrow seems to be the more popular Guardi deck, but not far behind is Despair Red Guardi. It seems to be another very, very popular Gardevoir variant. I think the Brilliant Arrow one might be a little more popular right now, but Despair Red Guardi is still, people really like, you know, it a lot, and uh, it's still doing pretty decently. People enjoy their Despair Raid Guardies, and uh, it's still a pretty fun deck. Me, personally, I think the Brilliant Arrow one is the uh, best choice right now for Gardevoir. Uh, Despair Raid isn't bad, though, because having that dual typing means you get to hit um, not only, like, Dragon's Weakness, like Salamence and Giratina, I mean, obviously the Hex Maniac, but then also you also get the Psychic hitting, which means you hit through Mewtwo's and Espeon's, which is very crucial. Speaking of Mewtwo, Mewtwo Y is also continuing to be a very powerhouse right now in the format. It's a very threatening deck. Mewtwo Y Garbodor, Espeon Mewtwo Y without Garbodor is doing good. Mewtwo Y just seems to be a very, very powerful card. I mean, it technically is. Psychic Infinity is ridiculously powerful. Um... So always got to watch out for that. I guess Baby Mewtwo 2 could be on this if you want. You know, the damage change Mewtwo decks are also kind of popular. Uh, yeah, I know, the Took Top 8 at Anaheim. Uh, Quad Lapras is a very good deck right now. Best budget deck by far. You know, better than Basimian Mew. But, yeah, again, Quad Lapras seems to be the best budget deck you can use right now. Uh, it's doing very good. It's a lot more popular than Water Toolbox right now, which I'm probably which will probably obviously change with the release of Aqua Patch from Guardians Rising. But, you know, for the most part, Quad Lapras seems to be the best way to run Lapras right now. And it definitely is, you know, the, with the Skull Grunts, the Flare Grunts, the, the fact that it's so cheap, the fact that Lapras is so tanky, really makes Quad Lapras a threatening deck to play against and a very, very hard deck to beat sometimes. 
Uh, then you got your Gyarados decks. Gyarados isn't the biggest deck right now, mainly because Decidueye GX kind of shuts it down, because they just Feather Arrow, Sniper, Magikarps, and then you can't really chain anything with that. Especially when Vileplume gets in play, you can't use Buddy Buddy Rescue. But we're not playing against Decidueye. Gyarados seems to be a great deck. It's performing okay. You know, again, Decidueye kind of keeps it in its place a little bit from, like, wrecking everything, but Gyarados is still a very popular deck, very powerful deck, and a very threatening budget deck at that, too. And then we got Regice. Regice with the Sidueye is why I put Regice here. Again, that's kind of why I also put like yeah, Mega and Jolteon on here, because those seem to be the ways to run Decidueye right now, instead of like the normal Decidueye, Lugia, Tauros, Fileplume decks. Now you got like Regice, Decidueye, so that you can have a better time against Volcanion decks. So people really like using the Regice now with the Jolteon and Decidueye. Finally, now the video are your Volcanion variants. Of course, Volcanion is performing greatly. Again, it's probably one of the top decks in standard. Definitely top three. I put it up there. It's probably top three, along with Darkrai, uh, with Decidueye, and if it, with itself, right? So, Volcanion, people love it. It's such a powerful deck because when, you know, they power it up so quickly, Steam Up makes you one-shot everything, it hits for weakness on Decidueye, which is, like, really good. So, Volcanion just continues to be a very, very big powerhouse right now in Standard. So, yeah, those are the best decks in the Standard format of April 2017, the final Best decks in standard format as of the Sun and Moon Primal Clash era until we move on to Guardians Rising, which for sure is going to change this up. Like, if I'm going to make some predictions of what's going to get changed, for one, we're going to see a lot more Lightning decks, especially with Tapu Koko GX. So, Evel Tall EX might be cut short, might be cut short with Guardians Rising, depending on how Tapu Koko does. Um... Also, we're probably going to see a lot more water-based decks. Maybe stuff like Mega Gyarados will make the list. Primarina GX might be on here. Definitely Lapras is going to stay because Aqua Patch and uh, other water decks. Um, yeah, I definitely think Guardians Rising is going to be a huge, huge set. Uh, Tapu Bulu is going to be pretty good, so we might not see many people want to use stuff that is weak to grass anymore. Just because Tapu Bulu might be pretty powerful with Lorantis coming up in the uh, Guardians Rising set. And, um... Yeah, and then there's also the Ninetales GX decks, which I don't think it's really going to affect any deck, like, at all, but Ninetales GX is a threatening deck that I think is going to come up, too. So there's a lot of new decks coming out in Guardians Rising. This list is definitely going to change. Leave a comment down below what you think your predictions are as for how you think this, like, the... the the list here of the best decks in standard are going to change. Again, my prediction is Eveltal EX might leave just because, like, Eveltal's probably going to drop in popularity depending on how popular Tapu Koko gets. We'll find out. We'll see. But thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. If this helped you out a little bit, don't forget to subscribe too. If you're new, help me on the road to 2,000 subscribers. We're going to kill it when Guardians Rising comes out, guys. Do not worry. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on another PCGO video. Peace out.